Today we dive deep, find gold, and make it out alive. We got a bear. Welcome to Pioneer Polly. Today is going to be a fun day. I'm back on my gold claim, but this time we have the deeper hookah system with us. So it's not the one that you saw me use in New Zealand. This one is called the Nomad, and it allows you to go way deeper for way longer. Bailey is with me today. You excited? Very, very excited. What sucks about bringing any kind of dive gear is that you have to take the weight belt with you as well. It's not that heavy, but it sure adds up when you have a lot of gear and it's a thousand degrees out. So this is the mess that I've made. Now I'm usually pretty organized until I wake up and then realize my life is just a mess. No real plan today, except for just to see if we can find some better looking gold in the deeper spots. I also brought four boots. I don't know why. So the first thing I like to do is float around and search for an area without using the hookah system. That way I don't waste any battery. What I'm looking for are the deeper crevices that I can't reach from the surface, just like this. So I'm in a shallower area where I don't need the hookah system right now, and I found our biggest piece so far. <laughs> There we go. It won't go up the straw, so it's big enough. I just found a nice freaking piece right here. Oh. Must have been traveling right through here. Look at that. Okay, let's clean up a little bit more and see what else we can find. I'm still just scouting for a deeper area. Of course, it's hard not to snipe while I'm looking for an area. But anyways, we're finding some gold right here, so let me clean this out and then I'll go use the hookah. These thin little cracks can be amazing because of how much gold can get stuck in them. And because they're thin, people from like the gold rush would overlook these and it's much harder for the gold to escape during a flood. So in other words, these cracks are sometimes loaded in gold. And of course, when you find gold, there's a chance that there could be gold around. So I decided to follow the crack a little deeper. It wasn't long before I was able to spot a couple more pieces of gold, one in the overburden, and another just sitting there, chilling on the bedrock. Now finding shallow gold is fun and all, but I think it's time we take our chances and head to the deeper spots. But before any work is done, I sit with the hookah system for about a minute and make sure everything is functioning properly. Maybe the one responsible thing that I do. I went down and right away I started finding gold. There is a lot of overburden here, so I spent some time excavating the area to remove as much off the bedrock as I could, hopefully to uncover a hidden crevice. I did find one, but it was really hard to see, especially with my weak ass flashlight. The sun's reflection also really doesn't help show the gold. So just pretend you see it and you're really amazed. So I just found a ball of mercury down there. It's a good sign that there could be gold around for real, but you don't want that mercury to touch the gold because it changes the color of it. Now you can burn it off, but that's you don't, you don't want to do that. So I'm going to avoid it. I don't want to suck it up. I ended up sucking up a little bit of mercury on accident anyways. So you'll see what it does to the gold later when I reveal it. Also, this piece is a harness. You're supposed to be wearing it when you're using the hookah system, but I don't because I just don't like to be attached to anything like that. I like to take a second to share some valuable advice that I think is very important. Thank you. Because Bailey and I started the day late, we didn't have a lot of time to play, so I ended up getting bored and going home. But the very next day, we were back, but this time with Lauren, who is our potential new photographer. How you doing? I'm doing great, how are you? Good. <laughs> she looks cozy and warm. Yeah, much warmer than last time. 
This is Lauren's second time sniping. I went out with her before and she found a little bit of gold, but she actually loved doing this so much that I thought, why not come out again? Plus, I don't like diving alone, so it works out. Now let's see if she can find some gold before the end of this video. So while she was getting used to the water, I brought in the gear and quickly sank myself so I could get right to work. You can thank her for all these cool shots. <laughs> that is the universal sign for a snuffer bottle. Okay, okay, okay. Now this crevice is actually perfect because of how deep it is and how stuck the rocks are in it. Here, you can see me trying to suck up the small pieces of gold that I could barely see. But looking a little closer, I spotted another nugget. Do you see the second nugget? No, not yet. <laughs> I just found another nugget. I wanna see if Lord can see it from here. Let's take a look. <laughs> yeah, <you can't>. Yay! <laughs> Sometimes these guys can be difficult to suck up, which is why having tweezers is a good idea. No! But I lose every pair of tweezers I get, so I do things the hard way. Okay, maybe I should find a way to attach tweezers to me because this is painful to watch. And here's Lauren being swept away by the current. Sorry, I was, I was really struggling to see one spot there. So a few more minutes of diving here, and Lauren and I will call it a day. Hopefully we have enough gold to save the world. We'll see in a few minutes, but... I'm trying to find at least one more piece before we go. Yay, let's go find some nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> I searched around for maybe 20 minutes and eventually found a spot that I think could be worth investigating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I found a nice, I found a nice <laughs> thin crack with a lot of little bit, with a lot of little gold in it. But the further I work, the harder it is to work, if that, if that makes sense. But hopefully we'll find something good in this crack. Now this crevice looked really good until I started working it when I realized all the rocks here weren't really stuck inside so I think when the water level was lower I've actually cleaned the spot before. So I looked for a little bit longer then I went even deeper just to float around and see what I could find. Eventually with no more luck finding any more gold I decided to call it quits and come back another day. Okay, so Lauren and I are calling it a day. I look like a Sasquatch. I'm probably gonna have to shave pretty soon here. Two long days. A long day the other day and a really long day today. Lauren is actually still keen to go. She's our photographer for the channel now, so she's gonna be following us around, taking sniping shots out of the water while I'm taking sniping shots in the water. Anyways, I'll show you the gold. This is actually looking pretty good. So this is actually looking way better than I had expected. I did suck up a lot of gold in here that you may not recognize just because of how dark it was. I couldn't really film it. And that gray stuff you see with the gold, that is mercury. So yeah, we'll take it home, weigh it all up, and hopefully it'll be enough to uh, buy a sandwich. Thank you, Mr. Nomad. You got us some gold today and yesterday. We got a bear. Let's leave him alone. So here is the candy all dried up. It looks the same, but not wet. 
Gold is my favorite. Finding it out in nature is quite remarkable, especially when you start to find bigger pieces like these. I was hoping to find something much bigger, but there's still time. Summer isn't quite here yet, and these are a nice start. So let's weigh everything. Okay, so I was just clearing my desk off to weigh the gold, and I sneezed. Mm -hmm. So, okay. All right, so <laughs> don't panic. This is not the first time I've done this. We just gotta look for pieces of gold on the ground and put it in the pan. There are a lot of little crevices in concrete, which make it hard to pull the gold out. All right, I am now in my car, which I think is probably the worst idea, but let's weigh it. 40 ounces, 5.94 grams. That's way more than I thought it would be. Nice. Now into the May bag to get weighed at the end of the year. Thank you for watching everybody. See you on the next one.